I've come to the States to interview my American cousin, Richard Concord, who claims to have found a way to lose weight, get in shape, be very entertained, and it doesn't have to cost a lot of shrimp for the Bobby either. I SST to uh, uh, use my feet, my legs, and music, and stepping in time and skipping in time to uh, develop this program that uh, helped me lose the weight I've lost so far. <laughs> doing this program now for about three weeks and I think I'm already noticing some some small changes in my in my physique uh, yes sure it's a new type of technique but I I think if I keep it up I might just be able to lose a little bit more weight than I have so far and good evening, good evening. I'm Bill Barr and I'm a private detective I was hired by Duncan Duncan he's the son of one of your associates and uh, I'm investigating his father's murder he said maybe you could help me with some information I don't know anything about the murder or anything like that, but you're welcome to come in and I can help you out as much as I can. Thanks very much. The president of Bernie Banquo. I know him well. Yeah, and he said that uh, you guys have gone to a psychic on a lot of couple weeks ago. A psychic had predicted you were going to become president. <laughs> exactly, I knew he'd tell you that. I, yeah, we are the psychic, but I don't put any stock in that at all. Well, yeah, that's true. They'll tell you anything they want for the money, I suppose. Yeah. Well, so you don't, you don't think he was uh, killed by anyone but a gang? I definitely believe it was a gang because I talked with your one of the first inspectors on the scene, an inspector Mark McFerman, and he thought it might have been the M Menendez gang that did it. Mm. Must have been a gang. I understand what you're saying, and and, and and I've been haunted by this. I've been thinking about this. I've been dreaming about Banquo's ghost, and I and, and I just I just can't get it out of my head. What happened to him? It's really sad, but and 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 I really would like to talk to you. I, I, I feel really bad, and I know you must know that my wife feels worse. Buddy? No, uh, no, this is no joke. This is Buddy. You, you remember, Buddy. I, I, I was on that last job with you. you. You know the police shootout? You know, we they were shooting at us, and, and, and what, Jake? No, Jake. We all got out. I, I'm sitting here. I'm talking to you on the phone, Jake. No, I'm Buddy. You're Jake. I'm here. I'm talking to you. I'm in trouble. There's a guy fall. What? No, this, no, I told you this is no joke. This is Buddy, Buddy, Jake, Buddy. In general, when I first started out, I was a defensive end <laughs> that, that that drew okay. terror in, in the quarterback's know. faces. I, I came in front. We were up there. We were up. We were up in Ravalo yeah. Avenue, and and uh, it grew from there, and it's Good becoming guy. bigger, bigger <laughs> ever since. <laughs> now, didn't you once play together? You and uh, the quarterback of the North. That was our uh, boys club days when we joined forces against the famous <laughs> Ted Lester. <laughs> he lasted in Turkey Bowl Annals about three occasions and he was on one fine cloudy evening was banned and barred for life because of his ruckus behavior. Yes, it was we a unanimous fact, vote. We Remember played that? together and we had some success with the South <laughs> in regards to that. It was a lot of fun, but once we went up to Friendship Park, uh, Sides changed. He took the side of the north. I went on the south. Somehow, uh, Steve recruited me, and uh, after that, it broke up that combination. combination.